What's up everyone, this is Cybernaut, and today I thought it'd be fun to just pick up some random packs that I found at Walmart. Uh, they were all on clearance, like the Extreme Value or whatever sticker that they have on these. I went ahead and took them out of the plastic and all that too, so it'd be, you know, save us a little bit of time on this video. But uh, yeah, I just went ahead and picked up a bunch of these clearance packs, and uh, let's see if we have some good luck or not. Because I, I feel like there were some pretty good ones to pick up. I mean, Infinity Chasers has been getting some hype because of Witchcrafters. Legendary Duelist, that's always worth picking up. Flames of Destruction, probably one of the best sets that we had uh, last year, I believe. Leave. And then also uh, Spirit Warriors, I mean, with six Samurais and uh, Magic Bullets, there you go, or Magical Musketeers. Either way, let's go on ahead and uh, see what we can get from these. Just kind of a fun random video, and if you guys enjoyed this, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Also ring that bell so you don't miss out. Oh, already getting Black Rose Dragon, pretty good. Then... Well, there we go. We start off with a hollow. That's a good sign. You're not guaranteed one, of course. Uh, Cyber Angel uh, is on a, uh, is Zanny? Is that is that how you say that? Something like that. <laughs> I don't know if I ever say that one's name right. And then uh, Harpy Lady Elegance. That's pretty cool. Yeah, of course the Spirit Warriors, Infinity Chasers, everything's holographic, so <laughs> we know we're gonna get something at least. Mythical Beast Jackal King, pretty good. Then uh, we have Witchcrafter Scroll. I hoping that one was uh, Creation. Yeah, I think it was Creation. That's the one that is very pricey for them. It's pretty tough to get, though, obviously. Tenenheiser Gate, if it will focus. There we are. Finitrax, Secret Village. Pretty good. And then we have Evil Eye Repos. Can't go wrong with Evil Eyes either. And I'm hearing a lot of good things about Infinitrax lately, too, because they keep getting support. Like every set, I think they get like a new card, so. Doesn't hurt to get some of those either. Last pack for Infinity Chasers. Spell Absorption. Rink Up Magic. And Medusa, which that's supposed to be tough to get. And then, looks like a Witchcrafter. And, uh, yeah, it's Creation. Oh, well, there we go. I thought that's what it was for a sec. I was hoping. Uh, but, yeah, we. I think that's the priciest card of the set, if I'm not mistaken. I think that's right. So, there we go. Well, that was worth it in itself. That might have paid for all these clearance packs just right there. Not bad. Okay. <laughs> I think that's like the second one I've ever gotten. And I've even opened up several boxes of the set. And I've got like one from a box, I think. And then that was the other one. So that's cool. Well, there you go. Like I said, that might pay me back for all the, the packs I just got from this video. Flames of Destruction. Still a good set to pick up. And Nightmare Phoenix. That's the reason. I mean, you know, that's one of the good ones. Yeah, I know it's been reprinted, but still, Nightmares are definitely worth getting. And then FA Winners. Also, you can get called by the Grave. I mean, that's a good common. So many good Link Monsters anyway in this set. Even though I think everything's been re reprinted, but still worth picking up. So, either way. Make that Aphrim. Then, uh, Rainbow uh, Refraction. And Trickstar Bouquet. And last one. Come on, let's get something above a super rare. Let's see. Heart of the Cards. Crystal Keeper. Always happy to get Crystal Beast cards. Medulce. The end. Yeah, there we go. That's actually a pretty good one, too. Again, I think I got a secret rare in the Mega Dens. I'll take an Ultra, though. It is uh, Iron Dragon uh, Timaton. I don't know if I say his name correctly, but there you go. I mean, either way... Good card to get, and uh, yeah, that that was kind of pricey from the set for a while. Again, I think it's, yeah, it was like a prismatic secret out of the Megatons, I believe. So, either way, I'll definitely take it, though. That's still good. And FA Overheat. I wouldn't get any called by the Graves, though, unfortunately. They're a little tough to get. Not just crazy, but yeah, I mean, that, that would basically pay for the pack as well. Um, Soul Fusion. We'll go with that because it's kind of by itself, right? I just picked this up because I was thinking it'd be hilarious to get a Colossus now that it's banned. So, let's see if we can get Colossus, you know? that That's kind of what I was hoping for. Just just because. Rank of Tops? Okay. Then, ah, oh, some Summer Summoner. So, yeah, unfortunately not. And Goki Pole. I had to try, though. I mean, that would have been hilarious because I think I've only gotten Colossus, like, once from uh, Soul Fusion. So, it would be funny to get it after it was banned. Spirit Warriors. All right. Another one where everything's holographic and six samurais are actually kind of pricey from this. Let's see. She and Smoke Signal. Always good. Then, uh, we got a uh, secret six samurai uh, doji. 
That one's pretty cool. I like him. I think he looks pretty cool. It's the other two, though. Was it Kizaru and the girl? The ones in pink. I can't think of her name. I think it starts with a, an H. Yeah, either way, I know those two are the ones that are a little bit pricier because they're kind of tough to get from this set. Like, I don't think many people really looked at them too much until we finally got that Six Samurai Link, and everyone's like, okay. <laughs> and then also, too, whenever people are using that number monster combo with Six Samurai, they also wanted the other one, Kizaru. And? Oh, man, I thought maybe we had it. Uh, another one of Doji, though. I mean, that's not a bad one to get, either. Then, backs to the wall. I really like that card's artwork. I think it looks cool. Kind of even reminds me of Power Rangers or something. I don't know. It just looks neat. And, uh, Magical Musket Cross Domination. Not bad. I think that one's pretty decent to get. And what else? Ringy Canvas. Kid Brave. And, oh, there we go. That's the one I was thinking of. It, it's Fuma. What was I thinking of the other? I, I think there is, though, one that I was... Yeah. Anyway, this is the one, though, I meant. <laughs> okay? Uh, this one is a Secret Six Samurai Fuma. So, again, this is one of the pricier ones, or last time I checked, and uh, I know it was kind of one of the tougher ones to get. So, pretty good. I mean, again, that helps out, especially when you see these packs on sale. I mean, yeah, that's that's definitely a way to get some of your money back and uh, or get some cards to trade or whatever. I mean, Spirit Warriors is definitely worth picking up. You see it on sale. Okay, what else we have here? Calamity. Doc. Then. Okay, yeah, I thought so. We got the fusion, of course, for them, too. Uh, Secret Six Samurai uh, Rihan. I don't think he's as pricey for some reason. I mean, he's like the cover, you know, and all that. He's like the, the fusion, of course, for them. But I've never seen him go for that much. Although... He's really cool looking. I mean, I really like him just because of that they got a fusion and he's awesome looking, to be very honest. But yeah, still cool to get. I'll take it. And last one for Spirit Warriors. What can we get? I think it's mainly just because the cover cards aren't really that tough to get from this set. It's mainly like some of the Magic Bullets, or Musketeers, sorry, I still call them Bullets. And uh, Kizaru seemed to be the toughest. And last one is uh, Secret Skills of the Six Samurai. Pretty cool looking card. But yeah. At least we got the Fusion and we got one of Fuma. Th those are both really good to get. And last pack, I ended with this one so I can say, can we end with a hollow? So let's see. We got a hollow out of one of them. And of course, it was a pack where you get two of them together. So we'll see if we have some good luck with this one then. You never know. Night Express Knight, Harpy Queen, Harpy's Hunting Ground, and then. There we go. We, we got an Ultra Rare. <laughs> well, there it is. Uh, I have a bunch of this card, too. Yeah, it's not one of the main cards of the set, but I ended with a hollow, so I'm happy about that, okay? At least we got that. <laughs> but yeah, it is Barrage Blast. Unfortunately, not one of the better cards of the set. Again, I have quite a few of these. It's, like, probably one of the cheaper ones, but... As long as they end with a hollow, though, yeah, that's better than not, so I'll take it. And then also Dark Rose Fairy. So, yeah, there we go. That's the opening. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Just something kind of fun and random, and we actually had some good luck. I mean, getting, of course, the Iron Dragon, that's good. Creation, I mean, by far, was the best thing that we got. And then, of course, too, even some of these six Samurai cards and stuff, too. So, as always, thank you guys for watching. Like and all of that would be greatly appreciated. Check out my TCG Player link, and, of course, I will catch you guys later. See ya.